Rope-a-dope for Sandra Blonde. I had just begun to relax, celebrate the marriage equality ruling. I had just begun feeling with Obama. I was watching Ali in trouble, off the ropes, delivering to his opponent the rope-a-dope, my father's eyes, excitement. I was just beginning to breathe air, feel exhilarated at images of Joe Biden and President Obama running down halls of the White House with rainbow flags, like boys with kites soaring. I was just beginning to forgive deaths of my brothers to AIDS, not forget. There should still be tribunals for them and every woman abused by the medical system. I had just begun to turn a corner on Mike Brown, Freddie Gray, Trayvon Martin, Eric Garner, the massacre at AME, not think of it all, every day. And then the police killed this young black girl in custody in Texas, claimed she committed suicide. I remember we're a war nation in war times. I imagine how James Bayard, Nina Feld, seeing a nation turn its dogs, teeth, gas, hoses, bullets on children and adults. I can't stop thinking about Steve Biko, his battered face. They say he hung himself too. The world's outrage. Who will pray now for us? America. An excerpt of David Wonorovich, One Day This Kid. One day. Families will give false information to their children, and each child will pass down that information generationally to their families, and that information will be designed to make existence intolerable for this kid. One day, this kid will begin to experience all this activity in his environment, and that activity in information will compel him to commit suicide or to submit to danger in hopes of being murdered or, to, or submit to silence and invisibility. He will be subject to loss of home, civil rights, jobs, and all conceivable freedoms. All this will begin to happen in one or two years when he discovers he desires to place his naked body on the naked body of another boy. 